Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm an amateur runner. And if you haven't watched the last four episodes of these series, then you need to go back and see them so you know what we're doing. If you haven't got time to go back and watch the last four episodes, I'll give you a little kind of glimpse into what I'm doing. So I'm taking part in an experiment that I completely set myself inspired by Sarah Hartley's video from the running channel on following everything her watch set told her to do, her Garmin watch told her to do for 30 days. And I'm doing the same thing, but I'm doing it over a 10 week period. So uh, I've got the Garmin 265S and I'm using it with the daily suggestions that come on the back of the race widget to see if my watch can train me to a 10K PB. I'm following exactly what the watch says, uh, although if it gives me a recovery day, I'm using my uh, common sense whether I need to take it as a rest day. Um, but apart from that, that is the experiment. That's the challenge. So my race is on the 19th of May. It's currently the 8th of April. So we are just about to embark on week five. Today is a base run. So we've got 42 minutes in zone two. And yeah, it's currently lunchtime. So I, as per usual, I will not be running until the evening or until I finish work at half past four. If we count half past four as the evening, I'll put the link to episode four and actually the rest of them on the playlist just up there if you need it. So yeah, I'm going to go and get this run done later on. I'll take you along with me. But yeah, that's the challenge. I'm, I'm down the ugly alleyway again. Um, base run done. The majority of that run, I was surprised how I was still in zone two, but my pace was really so much quicker than it normally is. It's just to go to shake under what your easy pace or your zone two pace can kind of change on the regular because compared to the treadmill on Saturday night, that was pretty good. I think I averaged 7.16, okay, which is like faster than my marathon pace so maybe this is all working so week five day one ticked off and yeah, feeling good um i think i got to like 5.8k um yeah i wish all which all easy runs felt like good um but yeah monday Done. as if it is april and i'm wearing a winter hat a beanie in april where is the spring where is the warm weather today it's very windy it's tuesday by the way hi it's tuesday and it's very cold and very windy um today garmin <laughs> has brought our old friend around again so it's it's this run, which we've had, this is the third time now, 10 minute warm up, 17 minutes at threshold pace or 173 BPM. I have a little sneaky look at what the pace it thinks it would be for that, which is 5.45 a K. Now I like the ambition. Last week when this one came up last Monday, the one where I went on a little mission and ended up on a football pitch, um, I think I did it in 5.51 a K. So like I kind of want to do it to the pace but also I don't want it to go over my heart rate a bit like too much so I think I'm going to see if I can run at 5.45 a k and hold that heart rate if that makes sense. Now I'm going to be honest I'm not really feeling going outside and I think I need to repair my relationship with the treadmill. So I think, I think that's what I'll do. Also, we'll find it easier to hold a consistent pace on the treadmill because obviously I can just set it and forget it. That sounded really good to set it and forget it. Yeah, let's get Tuesday done. Much, much, much later. You'd think that I'd learnt my lesson from Saturday night of getting on the treadmill too late because <laughs> you haven't planned your time effectively. So yeah, it's, uh, it's quarter to nine and I haven't run yet just try you know obviously i'll just keep it real that's me um no influencer you know perfect life going on here just life be lifing so haven't got on the treadmill yet going to get on the treadmill now so it's the 
it's the threshold session. I, it's not that like I've been putting it off. I've just I've just had stuff to do this evening, and I didn't run immediately after work because I had a late meeting, and then I was you know a little bit too hungry basically to to um to not eat before I ran. So I didn't run. I've left it about three hours um since my meal. So I think it's time. So I'm gonna put on I'm gonna put on. I think I'll try and wear the Hoka. I haven't worn the Hoka uh, CLOX once on the treadmill yet, so that'll be a fun experience. And I think I'm just going to dial in. So I, I don't even think I'm going to do an instructor class tonight. I'm just going to put on my own music and just have like a boring treadmill screen on. So um, it might change. I might, I might change my mind. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to film anything tonight. I've got I've got a load of stuff set up in the kitchen so I think it's just going to be a bit too awkward but we'll have a bit of, we'll have a bit of a debrief when I get back and I'll talk through it um with some visuals I've been a crap this beginning of this week for filming we'll do better rest of week uh, for filming while, while running but yeah I just need to dial in and get it done so um we'll be back and we'll let you know how it goes but yeah threshold session tonight uh Let's see if I can keep it at 5.45 pace. Um, <laughs> should I be having pre-workout this close to bed? Probably not. Am I going to do it anyway? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. That that was truly awful. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like I'm just cursed. And I really need to learn my lesson on like night runs. Anything that comes up as a night run on Strava is 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 just um just a nightmare so uh, i decided to do um i was trying to find a run to do that was 40 minutes but i, I couldn't find any timed 40 minute runs i could have done two 20 minutes but it would have been faffy because the uh it would have rolled over like in the middle of the effort and that would have been a faff so um I then went on to like the, I think it's the guided section and did, and I just decided to do, um, just watch basically the Bad Water 135 documentary with Susie Chan. Um, Cause I thought, you know, that would inspire me if Susie can run 135 miles through Death Valley. Um, I can, I can get on this treadmill and do a threshold run. So um <sighs> yeah it started off well cool like the warm-up was great um i was going to, i think my tread like ticks over quicker than the um than it says i am so when it's like saying i'm doing 620 okay oh, i felt like i was doing like 530 i always think it feels a minute quicker than it actually is but you know i've got no real, real way of proving that so anyway the um my garmin was way off with what um the treadmill was saying and annoyingly I've got a problem with my treadmill at the moment and I had this problem like months ago and then it went away and now it's come back I think it needs an update it just keeps cutting out um if there's like an incline change programmed into the run itself uh even if I turn off auto incline it still wants to do the incline anyway and then it just kind of um does these like red lights of doom and says you need to restart your tread annoyingly when that happens I can pause the workout but I like on the screen but I can't on the documentary so I was having to like oh it was just oh I won't bore you with the details it was just a faff and then to add insult to injury now I love these hokers like oh my god also love them on the tread they were perfect and I really struggle with uh running shoes on the tread especially ones with quite a big stack but these were perfect until the bastard laces came undone. Now, I watched um, the run testers, very recent, Landmarks Half, and Nick wore these for the London Landmarks Half Marathon um, at the weekend, and his laces came off, and he actually ran, I think he said like the last 10k, without the laces done up. And I thought about that, and I thought, no, I'm probably much much more clumsy than Nick and I will trip myself up so I couldn't pause to redo my laces and oh my god anyway 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 I'm rambling um pack of shit in the bin however trying to end it on a positive 
it was a threshold effort. So I did what the run was required would was required of me. I maintained a heart rate of one seven three for seventeen minutes, actually a bit more because of the the cutting out. And it's looking like a recovery tomorrow, but let's not jinx it. Wednesday. Garmin has given me a recovery. So I'm doing it a bit different this week. So normally I take recovery as a rest day, but I'm in the mood to roll out my legs and actually use that bike. <laughs> um, so I'm going to pick, um, this is the workout that Garmin is suggesting if I were to do a run. So it wants 28 minutes um, at 132 BPM heart rate now. I'm going to replicate that on the bike. So I'm going to do a 30 minute class, 30 minute recovery class, and I'm going to try and keep my heart rate in zone two, which is where like 132 is kind of like bang in the middle of my uh, zone two. So I'm going to do that instead. So I'm going to pick a class. Uh, I was going to do a live one, but there aren't any live. So um, yeah, I'm going to go and find kind of the best 30 minute recovery ride that they have on the platform with a kind of mixture of the music that I like and if I can't then I'll just I don't know just watch something on there for half an hour but sometimes I like to have an instructor um yeah talk to me for a bit of encouragement so that's what we're going to do um I did cut my run a bit short last night as well by about five minutes um but considering how much of a shit show it was um I don't even feel bad about it so yeah I'm gonna get on this bike if you do that today I'm not happy please don't do that this is about honoring our body this is about having fun riding it out it's not about competing it's about competing with our best self allowing our body the moment to recover so that we can go crush it in those crazy metal reds. Okay. All right, fellas, on, you had two to three minutes. Within a cage, no crazy cadence and resistance, but also making sure we're moving our body functionally for the next. I'm not gonna give you anatomy, don't worry, but it'll help grease those hinges a little bit. We all need that. Well, double, WD-40 on all those joints. Good. Far. This is an exercise. It's strength. Do you know what? That was that was actually really good. So um I managed to keep my heart rate in zone two the whole time. I was an absolute angel. I actually had a pen in my hair, which is why there's a pen in front of me. But yeah, look, I think it's like pretty much hundred percent um in zone two. Managed to get like the exact kind of recovery um goal of the workout. So I think I'd get a gold scar and we're still productive. So yes, loved it. It's Thursday and <laughs> oh my god, I've got um I've got a threshold today and oh, I don't know why it's doing this to me. No, it's it'll be fine. So actually it will be fine. So normally the threshold session that Garmin um delivers to me is a is the 17 minute nightmare. Um, 10 minute warm up 17 minutes at threshold pace or threshold heart rate so I'm following this plan based on heart rate so yeah it wants three times six minutes at threshold so it's um it's a 10 minute warm up followed by three repeats of six minute run at 173 bpm and a two minute recovery so do you know what this actually might be quite nice this might be a little hybrid between sprint and a <laughs> and my normal threshold session um i actually think i've done something similar to this one before actually we had this in week one uh quite similar so it was a tempo session instead um and I was doing three times eight minutes at six ten a k because it was before I kind of moved to to heart rate. So actually, what would what would it be? Yeah. So if I was to do this at just by pace, it wants me to do three times six minutes at five forty five a k. Um. I mean, I could aim for that just to get my heart rate up into the right zone. But we'll, we'll, do you know what? I'm just going to do my best. I'm just going to do my best. So yeah, uh, I will check. It's quite early now. <laughs> I haven't started work yet. So um, I um, yeah, I'll see you later. And guess what? I'm going to do it. At a, I'm going to do it outside, and I'm going to do it at a sensible time. It's actually not going to rain today. 
um, and it's really pretty warm so it's going to be a sweaty one lucky me um, so yeah I'll see you later out on the run right I've just got 20 seconds left of the warm up I've had a pre-workout and I'm not feeling amazing but we're going to give it our best and that's all I can do so let's go do it okay first interval done in 5.36 so I've got a, another minute of recovery I think there were only two minute recoveries instead of three minute recoveries so just need to re remember to read these uh, these suggestions better so yeah I've got another 45 seconds which I'm trying to do is at rest because I just can't get my heart rate down enough so Let's go again, see if I can do the same or quicker. Fucking hell. Sorry, I feel hungry. That one was horrible. I literally thought I was going to be sick at the end. Still might be sick. That was 5.30, so I think it was 5.36 and 5.30. So just one more and then I can go home. <laughs> I'm really, really struggling tonight. Might have to take some inhaler. I think it's a pretty warm day. And the pollen is quite high and I've got really bad hay fever on top of asthma and other elements, so... Oh, I can't do another... Last interval, 5.26. So, it's a five second increase each time. Bear in mind... Shoe laces. I think three times these shoelaces have come and done. My mission tonight is to re replace them with another pair and uh, from my other shoes because it's just getting stupid. Um, because there's now a bit of a fear that they're going to come undone. And then when they do come undone, especially when like that, when I was in the middle of a, a set, do we call it a set? interval and I was in the middle of an interval it's just bloody annoying and you can't have that on race day not just be casually stopping to do your laces up it's a shame because they're such good shoes and I love literally want to wear them for everything so all in all success despite almost chucking up in the middle I much preferred that to uh, Tuesdays threshold session on the tread so um I should have put the stats up here so yeah Thursday's done hoping for a base run tomorrow to be honest I have noticed that Garmin hasn't done like big sessions back to back which is really good so yeah I'll see you tomorrow another session done it's a bloody gall it's a bloody glorious Friday afternoon. I've just finished work. I am going to go for my, what have we got on the plan today? 43 minute easy run. But before that, um, because I want to take the hokers out again, I'm going to relace them. So I've just been deliberating which of my other running shoes I need to offer up as sacrifice. And I think it's going to be the pro, ooh, the, uh, the pro threes because they have the Socony Endorphin Pro threes uh, because they have Thank you. Um, they have excellent laces and they're both race shoes. So I feel like if I'm going to grow a pair of race shoes, it's going to be the Hokers. So I'm going to attempt to relace the Hokers with these pink ones and I'll be right back for you if the dog doesn't eat them first. <laughs> so it is, it's Saturday morning. Um, yesterday was a bit, that <laughs> was a bit crap yesterday. So I went to take my phone to uh, record the run and realised that it was on one percent battery so didn't end up taking my phone with me um but it was a really it was a it was a lovely easy run um i just can't believe how kind of compared to week one how much my like zone two easy runs like the pace is so much faster while maintaining a similar heart rate so that's an interesting observation it's saturday today as i've said um so <laughs> I think the first time recorded without makeup but we made it to week five so <laughs> well done me um i'm just 
getting ready to go and get my run done. We've got a bit of a um, a nice Saturday, really, um, seeing family, and it's a bit busy. So if I don't run now, then I will not run. And we need to get this run done. And today is a real spicy one. Uh, it's an anaerobic session. Um, and it's like two sets of five minute sprints at 40 seconds, I think. Obviously, it'll be up here for you to see, but yeah, it's a little spicy number. So uh, I'm just going to have a piece of toast and another coffee. I've already had one <laughs> in bed, and then I was like, I'm going to get up and go and do this to stop procrastinating. So I'm going to have some toast. I'm going to go and get ready. And yeah, I'm going to go and get this anaerobic session done. And then enjoy the rest of my day. And I think we've got a long run tomorrow, but sometimes at this point um, it will change because of kind of trying to work out the load for like this week so I don't go over 1.1. So yeah, we'll see. But happy Saturday. We're getting there. I'll try being a less crap next week with the uh, recording, but. I'll take the camera with me today, although uh, the red light is flashing on my mic, uh, which means I need to go and charge it. So I'm going to charge it while I'm having my breakfast and charging, um, charging my coffee, having my coffee. <laughs> right, I am just on the warm up and I'm heading down to my favourite little place. Um, but I like to go to do the sprints. So that should take me about 10, 15 minutes. If I go one way, I think I cut it a little bit short and then I end up trying to start a sprint in a really awkward place. So, yeah, uh, I cannot tell you how much I love the hocus now that the laces don't come undone. The whole one I did yesterday, no laces coming undone. So now they're my perfect gym because so I don't have to worry about the laces anymore. First interval is done. I uh, just as I got where I needed to be, so it was actually perfect. Just had to move a fucking shopping trolley that someone had just abandoned in the middle of the road, or well, the middle of the pavement. So I'm just waiting for my heart rate to go down and then we'll go again, but the first one was 4.30, so they're not really sprints actually, that's my mistake. I think they wanted 4.45, but I'm doing 4.30. Well, we'll see. It's really hard to gauge speed for me, so that is a fun activity. Maybe I could use a shopping trolley to hold my drink. I don't know. Right, I'm just on my little uh, bit in between the session. I think I'm going for a three minute or five minute recovery. Um, yeah, I did use the trolley as a uh, camera stand. So, you know, way to use my resources. I was wrong. I don't know where the five minute recovery is. Maybe it's the end at the end of these two sets, but I've got absolutely no idea. That was just three, I think it was only a three minute recovery. I don't know, I'm going delusional. Uh, yeah, I just had a, a little 40 second <laughs> interval spring out of nowhere and I was like, oh, I've got a water bottle in my hand filming. So, uh, yeah. Uh, got another minute and a half and then I go again. So I guess we've got four more efforts left. And then, uh, four more efforts left. And then, we're gonna make our way back home. But uh, yeah, what a lovely way to spend a Sunday Saturday morning. So I'm just I'm just walking in between intervals really to keep my heart rate down. And then if it gets too low, I just pick it up again and do a little jog. But uh, I love these sessions. These are so my favourite sessions out of out of all all the runs that Garmin gives me. I definitely love the uh, I definitely love the anaerobic sessions the best. Okay, last interval, and then I'm going to start home. I'm going to. I'm just. I've moved on from my little, my own little track. It's not a full circle, but it's a sexy semicircle, relatively flat. It's a little bridge, but it's fine. So I'm going to do my last little interval, and then plod home. But yeah, my legs are feeling it. Have I overdone it? Probably a little bit, yeah. Debrief. Um, love those sessions. I really love those sessions. They are so good. Um, yeah, and I timed it quite well actually. So I've got the benefit. Um, just did over 7K. It's interesting actually, because if you're really obsessive with pace, it looks like I've just done like the slowest run ever. And then if you 
go into the stats. You're like, ooh. Um, I haven't actually looked at the intervals yet, but I'll put them there. Um, they're a bit all over the shop, they weren't perfect. But yeah, I'm pleased with that. Um, I'm gonna go and have a hair wash. I'll make myself look like a respectable, professional young lady. Have a lovely, have a lovely rest of your day, whatever you're doing. Um, and we'll see, we'll see if we have long run tomorrow. It's eight an hour and 15 minutes. And I reckon I've done about 30k. We're just shy of that already this week. Maybe about 28. Again, it'll be up there. So we'll see how long it gives me. If it gives me a long one tomorrow or not. But yeah. Pleased. Very pleased. I'm enjoying this very much. And we've made it to Sunday. So yesterday's workout was really fun. Um, I just love these anaerobic sessions. I know I've been saying that continually, but... I think it just because it, it's something a little bit different and I think it's not it's it's not a, a kind of run that I would program for myself if that makes sense like two times five times 40 seconds <laughs> at a specific pace um and also I think I think previously I'd be so caught up on the pace that I wouldn't want my overall overall kind of workout to have like a low pace because you know Strava ego so yeah it was like yeah cool I'll just walk <laughs> I'll walk between the intervals because I need to get my heart rate down that's the whole point is to go from you know hard effort to easy effort um and then if my heart rate goes too low I can just stop jogging again so yeah yesterday was great I am feeling it a bit today I'm feeling as like I am feeling a bit sore but I know I said yesterday that the I had a long run program today I think it was an hour and 16 minutes originally and it's been it's been on there kind of on the daily suggestions sorry I've got a really itchy nose um daily suggestions like kind of it's been there the whole week like just looming at the end of the week um but yesterday's one was an hour as well so I was thinking like would you really want to put like two hour workouts back to back one of a really high intensity and surprise surprise after I completed the session yesterday it changed so today instead we've got a 42 minute base run uh, and my BPM has changed because after that workout yesterday it said do you want to change uh, your max heart rate like we think you've got a different max heart rate and I'm like you know what Garmin you know best you know best babe so you want to change it you change it so yeah today we've got 42 minutes at 145 bpm so same two really isn't it same two so um so yeah i am gonna go and do that put your hand up if you've pissed about all day and it's 22 minutes past six and you haven't gone for your run yet In my defence, I have had a rather delicious and enormous Sunday lunch and there was no way. Uh, I could probably run until now uh, in fear I might be sick. So we're going to go now. Uh, the joy, the good thing is it's still light. <sighs> this was in the winter, be a much different story. So I'm going to go out now and I need to stop dramatising it because it's only 42 minutes in zone two. It's a plod. So I don't know if anyone else just gets like pre-run fear. <laughs> I don't know why. I just get a bit like, especially before long run, marathon long runs. Oh my god, I'd get really, really worked up before one of those. But it's fine. We're just going to go for forty-two minutes around the block. I'm going to listen to a podcast, and I'm just going to plod, plod, plod. And then it's weekly roundup time. And I think it's been a good week. But yeah, let's go and get this done and stop procrastinating any further. And we're done with week five. So um, it's actually Monday now. I've kind of taken to doing my weekly roundups on Mondays. Because um, usually after my run on a Sunday, I'm just kind of done. And I need like an evening to reflect. So yeah, yesterday's run was, you know what, it was lovely. Um, I kind of tried to find a route that I'd done before. Um, and then I just ended up doing an out and back because... I was just ready to be done uh so I just did it was a 42 minute run so I just did 21 minutes out and 21 minutes back and I went out a little bit faster I do tend to get heart rate drift just as the run goes on so I end up having to slow down um but it's fine you just gotta do what you gotta do to stay in zone two um but yeah do you know what week five was it was pretty good um my lessons learned from week five are don't go on the treadmill. Don't actually do any run after 7pm, 8pm. 
really. So no more runs after 8pm. I'm a waste of space. <laughs> it's the wrong time of day and just it just doesn't work for me. Um, and I need to remember that. My sweet spot for running is 4.30 till 5.36. Like that is just my time to run. I even changed my working hours, not to run, but just to kind of have that like time in my schedule because my husband works from nine till half five. So I've always got that little hour, which is like my hour to work out before he finishes work and then we have an evening together. So I just need to be more kind of strict with having half four till six as my like weekday run time. So that's one lesson learned. The other lesson is to use the bike more because I I absolutely loved my little recovery session um, and just doing it on the bike. So yeah, I think those are my two takeaways from, from week five. And we've actually finished week five on 36k, which is, I think, just under a 14% increase from last week. So, you know, that's actually not too bad. Obviously, there is a 10% rule. Um, and this is a little bit above that. But um, yeah, I've I've done something every day this week. So there hasn't actually been a rest day this week that I've done nothing. Um, it's it, It's been something every day. So yeah, uh, and we are now officially halfway through the plan as well so yeah we are five weeks in and five weeks to go till race day so um but yeah I mean I'm loving this experiment I hope you are too that's why you're still still watching um but yeah I think it's I just think it's really interesting so um just for like a little bit of a round up on that side of things um my HRV is balanced I actually haven't gone outside of balanced this whole time um my race predictions across all distances are still trending downwards i'm i had put in a 58 minute 20 second goal just randomly <laughs> for the 10k and it's actually now predicting that i'm going to do it under 58 minutes obviously those race times those race time predictions we don't have to take them 100 percent verbatim but I mean, that's really nice to know. VO2 max is still trending up. So there's a lot to be said for this experiment. But yeah, I'm hoping this might be a bit of a cutback week, this uh, like next week coming, week six. Um, but we're just going to have to wait and see. You're going to have to wait and see and come back next week and, and find out. But it's it's been a good one. It's been a real good one. Um, and we're just going to keep going. So thanks for watching um make sure you like comment and subscribe and ring the bell so that you know when I get <laughs> I release I always release on a Monday though so if you come back on a Monday evening the video should be up um but yeah please leave me a comment I love receiving comments and I love replying to everyone that comments um but yeah let me know how your training is going what you're training for um oh the other thing I've learned this week is I uh, if you hate the laces on your shoes just change them just change them be a much better experience for you but yeah thanks for watching and yeah i'll see you next week bye